pixies welcome back to my channel it's me kia your favorite and i'm back with another video in today's video i'm going to be sharing with y'all my 6 a.m morning routine yes girl the sun is just now coming up as i am finishing this video um so it's very simple hopefully i can teach you some tricks so doing makeup every day is not intimidating for you and it can just inspire you to look your best and live your best life every day so if you're interested in seeing my 6 a.m makeup routine just keep watching good morning Today, I'm going to be showing you all how to do my simple everyday makeup routine. This is one of the routines that I do. Even just yesterday, the ladies at the coffee machine were going on and on about how I dress up to work from home and how I'm always, you know, wearing makeup and they haven't even had a chance to shower. This makeup routine is very simple and easy, something that you can very much do every day. And for the Raggedy Ann's, this might be like a... Uh, why do we have to do this? It's another thing to do. But for us cutie girls on here today, this is good news. To me, this is video is just trying to be like a motivation for you to look your best every day because it doesn't really take that much, you know, effort. It takes effort. Yes, it takes extra effort, but is it really that much extra effort? And honestly, if it becomes a routine for you, you will find that it's really not that much extra effort anyway. It's just how you allow your time to do the things that are important to you getting myself fully ready wearing makeup is important to me so I have 15 minutes to spare so that's what it is I am drinking the sweet mornings tea from sweet July that's Aisha Curry's brand it is so good such a good morning tea it's very important that you do everything that I do exactly otherwise your makeup's not gonna work so if you're not drinking tea in the morning automatically it's not gonna work just kidding, but to start, I went in with this Laneige Water Bank Moisturizer. I like to put that on and kind of just let it sit on my face for maybe about 10 minutes before I do my makeup. And then I like to start with some type of lip balm and I use the Pharmacy Honey Butter. This is one of my favorite lip products ever, ever, ever in the world just for like moisturizing the lips and like if you put this on by the time you put on your lip products then you'll be in good shape because you don't want for your lips to be ashy so so what I'm going to do is start with this black radiance contour palette and I'm going to go in with the medium color shade I just go ahead and I contour my face First, a lot of people have this like fear or hang up about contouring, like rightfully so, because if you, you know, do it too harshly, it definitely can give you like this drag type of look that most of us are not going for um, on an everyday basis basis so I find that when you do the contour first it just really helps to diffuse it out better and it's less intimidating so next I just go in with a concealer today I'm going to use the toothpaste toothpaste Too Faced Born This Way concealer and I think I'm in the color sand yeah sand Then just like to go ahead and blend it out with a foundation brush. This is a Real Techniques brush. It's a pretty good brush, I think. And I like to just like diffuse everything with the brush. And I like to use the brush and move the product more so um, because I feel like it moves and diffuses it out in a better way. But as you can see, like it's not really blended. So then I will go back in with um, my beauty blender to blend everything out and give it a smooth look once I kind of diffuse and place everything with the brush. you can go ahead and set your face like with setting powder sometimes I don't even do this like yesterday when I did my makeup I didn't set with um, setting powder I just use my 
all over a face powder like a foundation shade powder which I do use to um, dust this away so if you have a good powder um, that you trust for your uh, foundation shade I just use this body shop um, shade they have like four colors so whatever that is like the medium shade um, that's what I use to like dust away my makeup now I just go back in and add more warmth that may have been lost now this is my favorite part blush I'm gonna tell you all right now I love a lot of blush so if you don't love a lot of blush just don't use a lot of blush but the two blushes that I'm going to be using today are raisin by Mac and then I am going to be using caring coral by Huda Beauty and I love both of these colors individually and together and so today I'm gonna to be putting them on together for a high blush look I'm going in with a raisin and and I am just kind of putting that like right on top of my contour and I'm putting it like very high up on my cheek. And I just take some and I put it right here above my brows as well too. And I feel like this just adds even further color to my face and um, it kind of rounds out my contour. Not round literally but like gives it more depth. And body it makes my contour slim thick you know this just helps to give you like a very you know sun-kissed kind of look I'm dipping into the glow ish by Huda Beauty and I more so concentrate that like on my cheeks like the the apples or the balls or child I don't know what y'all be saying I got too many names for all these facial body parts but yeah so the, right here on my cheeks I just kind of like do a little smile like mm -hmm. so I just have that pinched cheek kind of look again I understand this is a lot of blush babe so if you're not up for it baby don't do it okay yeah so once I've given my face a blush attack then I go back into this black radiance palette and I take this um kind of just warm goldeny um shade that is the shimmer and then I just dust that up on my cheeks to complement my contour and then across my nose as well kind of big on layering so I am taking this Fenty Diamond Balm and I am just going to go over that highlight that I just put down just ever so lightly my camera started to die she's a louisa sorry that's my work computer and then like if you guys watch my vlogs then you know who psycho is he's this psychotic dog that lives in my building and he's literally barking and it's like why psycho why i was gonna do my brows off camera but the way i've been doing my brows lately has been very transformational for me so i'm gonna share it with you like it takes me like five minutes to do my brows and seeing is believing so here we go all i do these days is just i make a nice little stroke underneath my brow and then i just kind of like connect the tail together and then literally I just wisp like within my brow and like kind of fill in the parts where it's like sparse it's literally done I struggle to do my brows because naturally y'all can see like I don't have the most brow hair in the world but I kind of have like a lot of brow hair starting off already so filling in the brows would always cause me to make them look you know too dark like angry bird brows because I'm trying to do the same techniques of filling things in and fading it out as girls who really you know just had more sparse brows so therefore they had more to fill in and honestly it just did not register for me that that's probably not how you should be filling in your brows but then also I feel like this brow look like the more natural and like wispy soap brows brow gel look is in these days and so when once I saw that I recognized it and I was like wow I feel like I'm a candidate for those type of brows take the other side of the spoolie and just brush 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 
the product through. Now I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Brow Freeze and another spoolie and just like brush some of this gel through my brows to freeze them. And then I just like let it sit and dry a little bit and then I'll go back over with the back of the brush and just like stick them to my face. do is take this lust for dusk palette by ColourPop. y'all know i'm always using this and i use the color hot glam it's like a pinky brownish kind of shade and i'm literally just gonna put that just like all over the lid next in this mac artistry palette i'm gonna take this kind of chocolatey color just do like what colors that you have to work for this but i'm just kind of like going around the outer edge and then kind of just making like a little bit of a point here it's very effortless but you know cute nude brown pinky look that has just a little bit more drama to it and this is what makes it look like oh my gosh you're doing your makeup every single day and literally y'all saw i just like threw those colors on my eyes and it's not a big deal going back in with this kind of highlight um shade and i'm just gonna throw this underneath the brow to kind of brighten and like diffuse those colors out here the person that i super like to watch on youtube is called hindosh that is his name and i just love the kind of makeup looks that he does because they're just like very simple and effortless i kind of pick up a lot of my little skills and stuff from him so i would recommend and then i'm just gonna just take like this kind of shimmer shade right here dab it on my finger and then just boop swipe it over the eye and then that's really cute you can like swipe it and then pat and that's just cute it just gives you a little more something something honestly i've just been doing mascara and it's been like super cute and it just gives you kind of like this younger type of look and my mascaras are like nothing to rave about so um i'm just gonna go ahead and put on eyeliner and mascara but now i'm going back into this palette with this really dark dark um brown color and what i'm gonna do is just create a wing along my eye you see I, our eyes are already talking and you can literally just leave it like this and you really didn't even have to do anything babe like this is giving five minute eye look five minute face five minute brows 15 minutes we're going to use the nyx mini matte finish and just let it sink in. One thing I like to do with my eyes is just like tight line them a little bit. So I'm just taking that same powder that I used to make the wing and going in. And I just like this because it just gives the eye a little bit more like depth. For me, my vibe for 2020 is totally like less is more and then just like accentuating my features and i get so many compliments on you know my eyes especially from like a guys and stuff who want to look into them and so i was like you know i need to do makeup that kind of like draws the attention more so to my eyes but i mean this is an everyday situation so nobody has all day just like oh kind of pops the eyes out of the face Super cute girl, for sure. Last but not least, we're gonna do a lip and I'm kind of feeling like a neutrally kind of brown. I'm just gonna line with Caffeine by NYX. Now I'm gonna take this Fenty Gloss Balm and this is the color Honey Waffles. Ooh, it's breakfast time, baby. And so I'm gonna just put this on. And I think this is just like kind of a vibe. And it's the vibe that we're pursuing today for sure so this is cute it's a vibe you can just leave it like this i'm gonna go in with fortune cookie by nyx and just kind of add a little bit to the middle because i tend to like a more ombre and just kind of lighter you know lip middle i don't know what to say 
this is the look I will insert some clips once the sun comes up um, I hope this was simple and easy enough for you to follow and gave you some inspiration to just like do what you need to do with your look in the morning sometimes it's not that hard it's just really about like setting a routine getting into a groove and doing something that you can go to and feel comfortable with and it just takes practice thank you all so much so so much for tuning into this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe follow me kia on instagram at kia carrie moo and i'll catch you all in my next video bye